They said they really can't tell us. They can't tell us how many cycles my test is being um, ran? You can ask your primary doctor, makes me know. Well, I figured the lab would know how many cycles. Because even Fauci said, like, anything over 35 cycles, and I've read some places. Hey, what's up, world? So, as some of you probably know, I had a surgery the other week. And a couple of days before my surgery, I had to get a COVID test. They won't give you a surgery unless you get a COVID test and you test negative. So, when I went for my COVID test, I wanted to know how many cycles they were going to run my test. And my excuse for inquiring about this information was that I didn't want my test to come out with a false positive and me not be able to get the surgery. So I asked the people at the testing site that I was at if they can find out how many cycles my test was being ran for. And of course, nobody at the testing site knew what I was talking about. So I explained to them what the cycles were, and then I showed them this information which is found on this .edu site. This uh, little bit of information here is called real-time PCR CT, which is cycle threshold values. And then it shows basically like after 21 cycle thresholds, I believe that is, um, it gives you like a weak positive. Like, you know, if you have a positive there, it's not a very reliable positive. So I tried explaining this to them and I tried saying, like, like, yeah, you know, I want to make sure that they're not running my test more than this many cycles. And then I end up getting a weak positive, and then I end up not being able to get my surgery. And then I kind of, like, stress the fact that I really needed to get this surgery, and I couldn't afford to have a false positive or a weak positive. Now, as you heard from the clip that I played at the beginning, what ended up happening was the lady who was like at the desk there she ended up calling the lab that does the test and the lab actually told her that they can't tell her or they can't tell me how many cycles they would be running my test now i found that to be very strange the girl of course also told me oh well you can ask your doctor and it's like, you know, what the hell would my doctor know? He's not the one running the test. He's not at the lab. You know, the lab is running the test. But the lab did not want to disclose that information to me. Now, I was shocked when I think it was like, it wasn't too many hours later. I guess it was like the next day, actually, I think it was. Or maybe it was that night because I got the test in the morning. But anyway, it doesn't really matter like how long passed. I was shocked, though. When I got my test results and saw that they ran it only two cycles. To me, this is unheard of. I mean, this is the first time I got the test, so I don't really know if this is common for them to only run it two cycles. But based off of my research, and this is what I told them in the place, some hospitals are running the, the cycles like, you know, over 30 times. You know, I've even seen some places, I've seen some hospitals disclose that they ran it 40 times. So I was completely shocked when I got only two cycles ran on my test. Now, is this because I inquired and I showed them that I knew what I was talking about? Did they intentionally not run it like many, many cycles because they knew that if they did, I would complain about it? Or is this just a common practice at this hospital that I went to? I don't really know. I do know that somebody else that I know is going to be getting a COVID test. So it's going to be interesting when they see their test results. I'm going to see if they also, I'm going to see if they also have their test ran only two cycles. And uh, maybe I'll do like an update on this video when that comes around. So I guess this is something that you all can try. If you do end up having to get a COVID test, make sure you ask them or at least try to inquire as to how many cycles they're going to be running your COVID test. And maybe if you show them that you know a thing or two about this test that they're conducting, maybe they won't try to screw over your test and produce a false positive on you. Anyway, I thought I'd just make this video. I was going to do a video about the 2009 scamdemic. But like, you know, I just, I really, I'm just kind of feeling like, ugh, today. So I was like, you know what, let me just make this quick and easy video. 
and tomorrow I'll work on the 2009 Scamdemic video that I had planned on working on today. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next video.